Hi folks, Mike Monaco here for Wareham Gateman Around the Horn. We're here at Red Wilson Field in South Yarmouth, Massachusetts for the Cape League All-Star Game. Wareham has four representatives in the game, so let's go check in with those four guys, as well as manager Cooper Ferris. Coach, four All-Stars this summer. You've got Bradley, Ethan, Cole, and Tino. Can you take us through those guys and what you've seen from them? Well, Bradley's been outstanding on the mound for us this year. You know, he's, he's hit some for us also, but he's been real valuable on the mound. He, uh, going into the All-Star selection, he, think he had 19 strikeouts and 13 innings with a 1-9 ERA. Uh, he pitched well the other night up here at YD, and, uh, you know, just I think he had five strikeouts out of the six guys he faced. So uh, I think he's coming into his own. And then you have guys like Cole and Ethan who were here last summer, were not All-Stars, and then they put it together in their second summer, and they've just been so consistent for you. How nice is it for you as their manager to see them come around? Well, I'm excited for both those guys. They should have been on the All-Star team last year. Ethan going to, you know, he's just probably the most solid kid I've ever seen a shortstop. You know, I think he's had like 10 errors in two years up here. Uh, doesn't wow you, uh, but he, but he's very, uh, he covers a lot of ground. You have to watch him every day to see what he does. So uh, he's a big plus defensively. Um, you know, offensively, he's gotten some big hits for us, got some big RBIs. Cole should have made it last year, hit 320 going into the selection. There was probably five guys hitting 340 or better, so he got bumped, but he, but he did make the final all-star team at the end of the year, which is a big one too, you know, and uh, got caught on fire in the playoffs for us. He's just a, he's a spark plug, he gets things going, and he's another guy, you just got to see him every day, he grinds every day, you know, for us. And then Tino uh, got off to a hot start this year, was hitting the 380s, and then uh, did a, ha had a hamstring injury and came back from it and sitting, you know, he's dropped down to about 305 now, but uh, trying to get back going again. And if there's one thing you're looking forward to in the game today from your guys, what do you want to see from them? I just want to see them get after it. That's, that's all we preach. That's all we want them to do, you know, is just grind when they get their chance, uh, you know, and maybe just one or two at bats, but uh, hopefully they'll, they'll get a chance to get in there and do some things for us. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just good players. I'm joined now with Bradley Roney, and Bradley, we're at Cape League All-Star Game, South Yarmouth. Beautiful day here at Red Wilson Field. What does it mean to you to be an All-Star? We're almost done with the summer. What does it mean for you? Uh, it's a real honor, uh, just knowing that uh, it was selected by the coaches. So just that the coaches in the league thought enough of me to uh, you know, select me as an All-Star and one of the many players that could have been selected. So it's, it's, a, it's a real honor. You were telling me earlier you've learned so much this summer, and we saw you pitching here earlier this week, and Cooper Ferris said it was your best outing of the summer. What have you learned as a pitcher that's, that made you put it together to the point where you had your best outing? Uh, mainly uh, just to trust the stuff. You know, you're, you're not going to be called up here for it, to be a pitcher for no reason. You know, you've you got to know that you have good stuff, and I've learned a lot from Coach Thompson just knowing to, you know, Trust, uh, trust hitting spots and not trying to overpower people and, you know, things will work out for you. So you're one of four Wareham All-Stars. Also, your roommate, Ethan Gross. What's it like living with Ethan? Do you have any funny stories about him? Um, usually the only thing I can say about Ethan is I'm uh, usually the one waiting in the car for him. He's uh, real lazy. You know, he, he gets out of bed real late and doesn't, uh, doesn't go to bed early. He just He's a terrible roommate. No, he's a, he's a good guy, and I'm really proud of him as well being out here. Joined now at the All-Star Game with Tino Lipson. Tino, you had you know, a great start to the summer, then you get injured, you miss 12 games. What does it mean for you to still be here? You know, it's a huge honor and still a privilege for me. Uh, you know, I can't control when I get hurt or not, and all I can do is take care of my body as best I can. And, uh, you know, the, the managers and scouts and everyone, you know, they don't, you know, they don't care if you get hurt or not. And, you know, the best thing I can do is keep working hard and show them that I can still play even through adversity. Where do you think you've improved the most this summer with your hitting, your fielding, base running, anything? Um, I would say uh, definitely my approach at the plate has changed, you know, facing guys who are throwing a lot harder. Um, using a wood bat plays into it as well. Um, and also I've been working a lot in left field. Um, you know, next year I don't know if I'm going to be Playing in the infield or outfield, we'll see, but um, I'm definitely improving as a player. I think it's going to make things a lot easier back in school. So you make the team, the all-star team, as an infielder, actually, but we've most recently seen you in left field, and you know, from school you've been all around with the positions there, too. How have you kind of had to adjust to playing different positions, depending on where you're playing any given day? Well, athleticism helps a lot. It's not a giant adjustment. Outfield, I think, is a lot easier than the infield. Um, 
but you know, I'm excited to play second today, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. And then you were telling me just a little bit earlier that one of your teammates from last summer in the Alaska Summer League, Clint Freeman, is here on the team. He's from Bourne. Uh, how cool is it for you guys? You were both in Alaska this last summer, and then you come here to the Cape for you guys to both be here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Clint was one of my uh, better friends on the team last summer, and uh, actually my roommate from last summer, uh, Bobby Boyd, is also on the Bourne team. Um, so yeah, it's great to see familiar faces and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Joined here with Ethan Gross, shortstop for the Wareham Gateman. He's on the All-Star team. Ethan, this is your second summer on the Cape and last year you had a good summer, played a lot, and then you're here this year and you make it as an All-Star. What does it mean to you? Uh, you know, I think it's, a, it's been a great experience here and I think it's great to play with all these players, like the best in the country, and I think it's just an honor. Where do you think your game has developed the most from last summer to this summer? I would say uh, hitting. Hitting's got, gotten a lot better. I've improved a lot. I'm trying to stay short and just, uh, you know, not really hit home runs. Just try to find a way on base and, you know, help our team win. You're also one of three players in the league that has played in every game for his team. I mean, a lot of that is because of the guys that have been injured this summer and you're the last shortstop here. But what does it mean for you to be able to go out every day and give your team something? Oh, it's good. It's good always knowing you're, you know, you're going to be out there helping your team and, you know, it's a grind, but it's it's good for you. It's what you're going to do if you go to the next level. So I think it's it's a good experience. And we were talking with Bradley Roney earlier, one of your teammates, also your roommate, and he had a, a funny story that he said about you is that he's always waiting for you in the car. Do you have anything uh, you could tell with our listeners about what it's been like living with him? Uh, it's been great. I mean, he's a good, great roommate, and we get along pretty good. And I am waiting on him every now and then, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really mind. So it works out pretty good. All right, thanks a lot, Ethan. Joined now by Cole Sturgeon, one of Wareham's four All-Stars this summer. And Cole, you were here last summer and you had a great year but weren't named an All-Star. So what does it mean for you to, to get that All-Star bid your second summer around? Um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a great honor, you know, here with the best players uh, in the league and, you know, all over the country. Um, uh, it's a fun day. It's a fun time. Uh, I'm excited. What do you think you've improved the most on maybe since last summer? Um, you know, probably just, just understanding, you know, what it takes every day, day in and day out, um, you know, especially get against this competition every day. Um, you know, you can't have a day off mentally or physically, so uh, probably that. You're tied for the team league in RBIs with Ethan Gross, who is also one of your best friends on the team, another all-star. What does it mean for you guys to be kind of the leaders this year and to be both named all-stars? Um, yeah, you know, it's pretty special, you know, both up here last year, you got to, you know, we're part of the team on that special run last year. Um, you know, obviously not having the best year this year, but, uh, you know, it's fun to, you know, do it together, so it's a good time. That does it here for the All-Star game at Red Wilson Field. It was a good game. We saw all four Gateman players get in and get some action. And the East, though, came out victorious over the West.